Hey everyone, so this is going to be a tutorial on how to install Gingerbread on your Samsung Galaxy Tab. This will be for all rooted Galaxy Tabs. Also, you should make sure that your bootloaders are not protected. And if everything checks out, you should be good to go here. So let's get down to uh, the tutorial. So first of all, what you're going to need to do is backup. You should back up everything you possibly can using uh, a titanium backup or several other software that you use to back up text messages and so on. So back up everything you can and um, then you should go ahead and um, if you have a if you have a custom ROM like Overcome here, you should you can go ahead and put it into download mode here. But uh, for those who do not, I'm going to show you how to um, go into download mode, which will be to shut down your Galaxy Tab. And uh, to power it on by pressing the power button and the volume down. This should get you into download mode. So I'll see you guys right after I get it into download mode. Alright, so here we are in download mode and we are almost ready to go. Um, before you do this, you should download all the packages that I will link to you in the description. There will be GB Stock Safe, uh, as you can see here. Then there will be the, the ROM itself. And these are the guides, those, those are, um, those will link you up to the stuff too. Um, the, the links may change, so if that does happen, you can download, um, Download everything here from the opening post of the of the ROM, which I will link you to in the description too. So yeah, so once you unpack GB Stock uh, Safe, go ahead and open it, and then open up Odin uh, version 1.7. Hit run, and then go ahead and plug this in. side there and once you do you should see the COM port light up there alright so after that what you should do is hit pit here and then go ahead and open uh, the pit file from the folder you just unpacked which is GTP1000 mr.pit go ahead and select that then go to PDA and uh, there you go GB stock safe v1.tar that would be a tar file so open that up make sure you select the right ones here because you can either mess up your tablet if you don't and for phone there are several different modems um, read the opening page of uh, of the ROM to make sure which one is right for you. There's the T-Mobile one, which seems to be very specific. But for me, I'm going to select the JPZ modem, which has been recommended by Alterbridge86, by the way, who does great work here and has done this really fast, which is amazing. So, shout out to him. And right after that, just go ahead and hit start. So as you can see I've hit start and there's a progress bar there as well as on your Galaxy Tab. So just let this run, it should be okay. Um, there's always a little risk but this should go up fine. And I'll see you guys right after this is done. Alright so as you can see everything here is done and we've returned back into download mode. So what you gotta do is press and hold the power button. Oops, sorry until it does shut down make sure it has completely uh, finished and once that's done let it reboot again and this should take quite a while so allow it to reboot Alright, so as you can see, we're all booted up here, and we are running Gingerbread. Uh, let me just 
show that we are, as you can see, 2.3.3. We're running gingerbread and everything works great, but that's not it for us. We're going to go ahead and install Overcome 2 Beta 2. So go ahead and connect it back up into your computer and copy the clockwork mod uh, zip file into your uh, into the root of your device and then go ahead and shut down and reboot into recovery to do this press and hold the volume button volume up button and the power button so press them both until you reboot into recovery mode um, and we'll go ahead and do that and join up with you alright so we've gone ahead and rebooted here into recovery so what you gotta do now is to go down by pressing the volume down to wipe uh, wipe data factory reset and press the power button to select and go ahead and hit ES and let that go through and then you go down to wipe cache partition hit yes and um, go to advanced then go to wipe out the cache and go ahead and hit yes so once all that's done go back and go to install zip from SD card and choose zip from SD card so once you have um, copied overcome into here it should show up so go ahead and select it and go to yes install overcome to beta to full go ahead and select that and let it run so this should take quite a while afterwards um, it should reboot which should take quite a while too and um, we'll see you on the other side Alright, so we've gone ahead and rebooted it after we installed, I mean, we flashed the, the ROM. So this should take a long time and um, just let it go. So we could go have a drink or something and come back. So, um, yep, the boot up, um, boot up screen. And um, I won't bore you by sh showing this for a good 2-3 minutes, so stop the video here for now and we'll be right back so here we are we've installed overcome um, overcome 2 beta 2 and just go ahead and set it up the way you want it everything should be good here just um, go ahead and do all this and here we are this is overcome 2.2 0.0 beta 2 it looks exactly like the other one but we know ultra bridged is great stuff so uh there you go um i'll be out with a review on overcome 2 beta 2 soon so watch out for that and thanks for watching and i hope i helped you out i'll talk to you guys later